So we're still trying to reconcile the coordinate descent view of Attaboost with the standard view that we all know and love. And we're getting closer. There's two steps left that we need to figure out. Um, the first one is that here we're choosing the best direction to travel in using this argmax, but Attaboost uses a weak learning algorithm. And then also the weight update step looks funny. Um, in Attaboost, you take the weight from the current iteration and you multiply the weights by either e to the alpha or e to the minus alpha, depending on whether the point was misclassified or not. Um, this doesn't look the same as that, but we're gonna show that it's all good, it's all fine, these things are all the same. Okay, so I just wanna start with the direction here. And I just wanna point out that, you know, in, in the weak learning algorithm, this matrix M, like you can think about M as being like the set of all possible weak classifiers that this weak learning algorithm can come up with. So M is like, M is this huge matrix um, in this direction. So you, you could have a huge number of weak classifiers and that's totally fine. And then the weak learning algorithm is optimizing which weak classifier to pick out of this giant set. Okay, so let's let's show this. So this this here is replaced with, and, and I'm gonna do some, some interesting simplifying here. So I'll keep my arg max over j, and then I'm gonna split, so this is a, um, a sum over i, right? That matrix vector multiplication, that's a sum over i. I'm gonna split that sum again into two pieces the way I did kind of earlier. And the first, um, the first set of, I'm gonna split it into two sets of data points, right? Because i is data points. So the first set has mij equal to one. So these are points that were correctly classified by we classifier j. And then this is gonna be mij d t i. Oh wait, mij is just one. <laughs> so I actually don't need that mij there, okay? And then the other sum is for the points where the weak classifier didn't get it right. And so here, um, this would be mij, but that's negative one. And then DTI there. Okay, so I can make this simpler. It's arg max over j. And then this is one minus, okay, this, this thing, remember all the weights add up to one. So if you add up the positive weights, that's the same as one minus all the negative weights. Okay, so one minus i such that mij is negative one. Oops, sorry. And then this is dti. And then this term, interestingly, is exactly the same. There we go right there. Okay, cool. So this thing is argmax over j. And then the one doesn't determine, you know, if you add one to something, that doesn't influence the argmax. So this is actually two times the sum over i such that mij equals negative one dti. And again, this lovely two does not affect the argmax, so I can, whoops, I can get rid of that. There it goes. Cool. And then this argmax combined with this negative turns this whole thing into an argmin, okay? So if you're maximizing the negative of something, that's the same thing as minimizing that. So it's sum over i such that mij equals negative one dti. Okay, so if you think about this, this is the sum of the weights of the misclassified points. Now what is the weak learning algorithm supposed to do again? It's supposed to minimize the sum of the weights of the misclassified points. So this is exactly the job of the weak learning algorithm. And so what we've derived is that this quantity over here, the direction we're traveling in, um, the, you know, picking the choice of weak classifier, it's picking the same thing as the weak learning algorithm, which is the classifier, weak classifier that minimize, that, sorry, it's the weak classifier that minimizes the sum of weights on the misclassified points. So actually, this step is the weak learning algorithm. And in reality, um, when you run the weak learning algorithm, it may not exactly minimize the sum of weights. Like if you're using cart as the weak learning algorithm, but still, um, it's still approximately minimizing the sum of the weights of the misclassified points. And so this expression um, kind of, you know, really does represent what the weak, uh, what the weak learning algorithm is trying to do.
Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to explain why this wait update step is what it is.